right arm. Put your hands together for a man who's so good he only needs one name. And that name is Leo. This is my first time doing stand up here in Tallahassee. Yeah, please don't I'm a little fucked up right now, I'm not gonna lie. Come off the of drugs, mind you. That's fine, don't get excited about that. I'm actually fucked up off of music. Now, I bet you're wondering, how does that even happen? How do you get fucked up off of music? Well, usually, before I do something major in life, I like to listen to music, try to calm my nerves a bit. Problem is, this time, I was listening to the wrong playlist. I was listening to Mini Men by 50 Cent. <laughs> now, if you don't know what Mini Men is, it's kind of like the Gang Bangers National Anthem, except nobody's kneeling, and it's all saluting their guns in the air, it's great. And if I listen to too much of that song at once, I do some shit that I might like, never do normally in life. Like, if I listen to the whole song, I might be looking at life in prison. You know, you never know. Chicken can happen. No, so I think I, I think if I listened to about 30 more seconds in the car, I'd probably be sitting up here telling jokes about abortion right now, but <laughs> Curry's still out. We'll see you later. I think we're safe for now. But. Uh, usually I'll listen to that song before I play basketball. I love basketball. It's my favorite sport. You know, the NBA season just ended. Congratulations to the Raptors, the champions. You know, basketball is not over. The WNBA season is going on. Yeah, don't cheer. I mean, y'all watch it. Don't just be honest with yourself. I watch it myself, and I'm just going to tell y'all right now, all of y'all are missing out. Some of the greatest basketball in the world. Right? Like, you know, they can all done now, so you can't use that excuse anymore. So, good luck with that. And you can find action in the WNBA that you can't find anywhere else. So let me tell you. This one game I was watching, it was a while back. Two players were battling down low for position. You know how it is. They're fighting for position, fighting for the rebound. Next thing you know, one of them just reaches the crowd, just snatches her weight on it. I was shocked. <laughs> the craziest part is the play didn't even stop. Like, they didn't call the timeout or nothing. It was just, nobody was fighting. It was just committed to the game. They were that committed. It was, I, had to, I had to give respect. It was just, I was. I was impressed. Sometimes I think about the contracts in the WNBA, just how different they are in their men's counterparts. Um, you know, we all know that they're paid less. Like, we all know that. But I wonder sometimes, sometimes general managers will sneak in like little fucked up caveats or little fucked up plots into the contracts. Like, just say, for example, say that you're like, the best player in the league. You know, you've won multiple championships. You're the surefire favorite to win the next championship. But at this point, you kind of achieved everything you want. You just want to settle down, be able to start a family. Life is great. Drink beer. <laughs> this message was brought by Miller Lite. <laughs> Had to get that quick sponsorship in. No, it's, but, um, say that you just want to settle down and start a family. Then you remember in your contract. Their owner snuck it in that if you get pregnant, you gotta cut that baby with some picture. I mean, that's what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Trying to get these W's out here. And then you're, you won the championship, you're all excited, celebrating with your teammates, celebrating with your friends, and your owner, just a whole crazy guy, just walks up to you, just, you know why? I think I speak for myself and your own board paper when we say the word property. Uh -huh. That shit is fucked up. Uh -huh. so, all this abortion shit is just fucked up to me. Uh, I'm just going to come out with it. I'm pro choice. Uh, I believe that in the right circumstances, really anybody is going to be pro choice. I mean, just think about it. Like, do you think all these lawmakers would be passing these abortion bans if their mistresses stop taking birth control? Uh -huh. <laughs> raises the stakes a little bit, puts their feet to the fire. And then, 
kind of for a lot of people, we kind of get on board. I'm not gonna lie. They all think these reporters the babies are like God's greatest gift of heroes. And maybe they are. They always paint this perfect scenario where like, oh, what if that baby that you aborted turns out to discover the cure for cancer? I mean they might be right. You know, they got a point. At the same time that baby might turn out to be a serial killer. You know, I'm just I'm, to me it's not worth the risk. <laughs> Probably haven't read a history book. So I think that's about all I got time for. Thank you guys.